Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Portsmouth. Brighton and Hove Albion. The only reason I'm bringing you this match instead of Leicester is because every time I think, okay, well, I'm not going to do the first game. I'll do the second game. I always get my ass handed to me the second game, and I always crush it in the first game. So, Brighton and Hove Albion it is. They are 20th. We are 9th. Yet again, just like Stoke, who were in, what, 19th at the time? Uh, easy on paper? Probably going to smoke us in the end. Just saying. Schedule-wise, last time out was that Stoke game 1-0 win over Stoke. Uh, follow that up, Leeds United. I cannot win against Leeds whatsoever. And this was actually a game, I'll show it to you now, just pieces of it. I had no screen whatsoever for this game. I was not on the pitch at all. Apparently, I got a red card right before the match ever started. I was stuck in the interview room for the entire first half, moved to the locker room for the second half, and was in the locker room, dressing room, whatever you want to call it, for the entire second half. I don't know. It's the first time I've ever seen that bug, but it is what it is. Uh, we follow that up with Southampton. Now, this game, I thought this was the Premier League game, so I threw out like pretty much my best squad. I thought this was the FA Cup game. Didn't throw out the best squad there. Uh, that's why McGill of Raising goal instead of Alex Bass. I threw Alex Bass into the second one. But one all, well, lost due to penalties. When we got to the end, I was like, okay, it's one all, draw. I'm okay with that. Not the greatest game in the world. Hurtado got one in the 28th, but then Salisu in the 75th. We'll just go away. We'll come back for the FA Cup and, and kick the crap out of them. We started going to penalties like, what the fuck? So penalty loss. Uh, it does hurt, but at the same time, no more FA Cup games. We're out. We're good. Sucks that it's against Southampton. But as always, Southampton away from home. Southampton away from home. Ended up coming back. Flynn Downs in the 90th plus 7. I mean, that's just crazy. The The coach, the Southampton coach, I, I don't even remember his name, was like, yeah, we got one up on, on Oldman there in Portsmouth. And this one was like, I don't want to talk about this. The game sucked. I was like, fuck you, dude. Uh, and then Wolves, nil-nil. Wolves are always hard to play, and I don't know why. They're 10th right now, is that it? Yep, yeah, 10th. Um, actually, they've had a woeful run of form. Uh, you can see last last win was against Brighton on Wednesday the twenty second of February, so that's a good what couple that's a good couple weeks right there. Um, just a sea of red and our Portsmouth tie. What what you're gonna do? Uh, but for right now we are in ninth. We have a game in hand, thirty eight points. We still can't get it again above Leeds. Um, we are drawn with Wolves right now, but our goal differential is better. We're gonna go straight into this match. So this is the lineup that we have going out against Brighton. We have McGillivray and goal as usual. Pring, Oxford, Whatmore, and Coyle in the back four. Offord does come in. Uh, he will probably just come off the bench for a little while. Down, Seville, and Valderson in the midfield. Candeloni comes in because Jesse hasn't been doing very well. Curtis has not been doing very well at all. Uh, and Candeloni has been lights out in training for the last like five or six weeks. He has been a 9-5 and above. So he's coming in here uh, because I don't think, I mean... He obviously is a striker, but Hurtado is a little better at the striker role. So Candeloni come in, comes in just to give some game time and just put him on the pitch. Um, as you can see, Hywula is injured for three to seven days, and Rafa is still out for ten to three weeks. Ten days to three weeks. So, oh well. So Candeloni, Alfonso, and Hurtado. Alfonso hasn't been lights out either lately. Um, Jack Whatmore. Yep. He will be captain. That's fine. Jack Wilmore, I mean, these guys have been seeing yellow cards like crazy. Absolute madhouse. So as you saw before, basically, we're still using that 4-3-3 DM wide. Uh, ninth. I'm enjoying the ninth position. Uh, but that 4-3-3 DM wide, it seems to be working for us. We're not just crushing teams like I'd hoped. But I'm afraid to go back to that 4-4-2 because it just wasn't working anymore. Um, and <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but Hurtado, can I click here? No, I... No, I can't go there. Uh, Hurtado still hates me. He is still pissed that we did not bring in any midfield reinforcements during the transfer window. Off the bar! Oh, but he was offside anyway. Thank God. Uh, but there, that we had a week left in the transfer window. Couldn't bring anyone in. We really had only $4 million to do anything with. Um, I actually have someone that might be coming in at the end of the season. I don't know why I do this. Why are you pinging it off people to, you know, on the defenders? I know we're not going to play another four, the fourth season of this, but I have someone coming in, possibly. Um, I'll, if it actually is confirmed, I'll let you know. But yeah, Hurtado, not a happy camper with me. His, oh, 
That would have been wide open. But, like I said, he's not happy with me. He is, uh, his morale is poor. Really would like to get a run of wins or some positive results just so he can be happy again. Um, or at least mediocre instead of just poor. Candeloni, no, I'm not able to do it. Another reason I actually wanted to bring Brighton, granted, I mean, it's a home game. They're 20th in the league, but one other reason is because of Lalana. He's injured, unfortunately. Um, but they do have, I mean, they do have some players that I do know. Maddie Ryan, Lana's in there, Alfonso. Oh my God, can you guys get a shot on target? But opposition wise, uh, Ben White, Lewis Dunk, I remember. And Basuma, who has just been, uh, he's right now tied to Liverpool. So obviously I know him. Um, so they, I mean, they have some people in there that I do know the names of and, you know, it's Brighton. I mean, come on. Let's give Brighton a little bit of respect. Nice steal by Candeloni. Saville. So where are you going to go with that? Because you're not, you're not bursting out the speed and you get it stolen. McAllister. Basuma. I would like to see how Basuma does in this. Um, he's, he's apparently pacey, motherfucker. But <laughs> Stangs. You guys, what's going to happen? McAllister. Back to Basuma. I mean, we're closing down on them nicely, except for the outside. And then Slammers, Sam Lammers, uh, just starts the scoring. And I really, I don't want to see that again, because that was awful. Oh, geez, that was, they get some risky passes to the goalkeeper. I'm not too happy with that. Um, Hurtado is at a 6-4. Please tell me what to do with him, because until Rafa comes back, I, I mean, it's be basically between him and, and Candeloni, and I'm actually kind of thinking, put Candeloni in there, just to see what he does. What was I just talking about? Candeloni in there with a crucial, I mean, it's, granted, it's halftime, but still, a crucial halftime goal. Coyle with a actual, well, it was a nice pass to Valderson. Valderson, back to Coyle. Coyle with a great pass. Uh... Maddie Ryan just held up by Hurtado. So it is now one all. Let's see if the second half can provide a little bit more excitement on our behalf, please. McAllister with a spot kick. McGillivray, thank you. A lot of times with that open goal, you will see just balls go straight in left and right. That just sounded wrong. But uh, anyway, so Hurtado is at a 6-4. I'm kind of thinking bringing him off. Do I just throw him into the into the under twenty ones because he's just being a little shit? Um, no one. A Pring is at a six four, so he's not doing fantastic. No one's really fitness wise um, doing that bad. I should bring Offord in for a little while. Actually, he can come in for Pring. No, Balderson. Oh, I was kind of hoping that at some point he would just Matty Ryan would be a little farther out and oh well. Nice defending. I mean, they've got the, the, defend, the defense going down. I cannot speak, as usual. So come on. I have faith in you. Seems motivated. Let's get out there. We do have a corner. What's going to happen? We get another 90 plus 5 goal. We've got a couple of them. And no, it's just going to do nothing for us. Um, Come on. I don't like this at all. Proper. Montiel. White. There, I mean, it'd be great to steal it from them and then move it up forward to Candeloni. Candeloni. Uh, but Stang's coming up the side, and that's the game. So they kind of time-wasted for a little bit. Ten shots, five on target, to their five and three. Uh, I guess overall that's a better result for them because they get the point. But honestly, uh, you were unlucky out there. Gian Hurtado. I, I mean, seriously, dude. It does kind of suck, though, because we're, I mean, we're still in ninth, so it's not bad. However, we're not moving away from the Wolves, from the Wolves, from Wolves at all. West Ham and Bournemouth are right there nipping at our heels. Um, but, I mean, Stoke is in at 20 points. So they have 19 points in the next nine games. So it is possible that we could be relegated. However... For the most part, unlikely. However, another however, you never know in this 
fucking game. So Reese Oxford has been asking, well, not asking. The last time um, I was told he was a little jaded, he needed a rest. He's like, yes, thank you. That was terrific. So I gave him a rest. Uh, right now, the assistant coach said, yeah, I think he needs a rest again. And I went to him. He's like, you know, I don't think I need, but if, if that's what you think, I'll go for it. Um, which kind of sucks because I like Oxford. He's been okay for us. Um, but anyway, that does it. Uh, Lester is up next schedule wise. I forgot what I was going to do. I think I'm going to do Bournemouth or Ast probably Aston Villa because I don't think I've done Aston Villa yet in this save. Uh, so I'm going to do Aston Villa. I'm going to skip these. Oh, shit. Man City, Chelsea, and Tottenham. Well, we'll see how that goes. And then Liverpool, West Ham, and then finally Burnley. Burnley will be the last one. Two episodes left, and then we're done. And we'll see how it goes. But anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching. I am Seth FM. Take care and enjoy. Thank you.